Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe and cool Mr. Bear. And today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite knee pain stretches and exercises. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure and click on the subscribe button and be sure to make your subscription public or let me know that you're a subscriber because I always try to respond to my subscribers. So we're gonna start off lying down with the stretches. I'm on the floor. You can do these on your bed or couch if you have a hard time getting um, down or up off of the floor. So I'm going to start with a quad stretch. I'm gonna use a stretch strap. You can use a dog leash, a belt, or even something like a jump rope if you don't have a specific stretch strap. So I like to have a little loop around it. That's a lot of times why uh, dog leashes work well. Um, you can put the loop on it first, but I'm gonna roll over onto my tummy because I feel like this is the easiest way to stretch your quad and not compensate. And why? what I mean by compensating is you wanna have your leg and your thigh straight down like this. So if you're lying on your tummy, if you're able to get in this position, that's the best way to do the stretch. Make sure you're comfortable. So you know, lie all the way down so you don't risk getting your back irritated a little bit. But I'm gonna prop up just so I can see you and kind of show you what I'm doing here. So take the strap or the rope or the, the leash and put it around your shoulder like this. And so you're using the strap just to pull your heel towards your bottom. So you might only be able to get to here, that's fine. But try and keep your leg in a straight line. So don't bring it out, don't let that leg kind of collapse in. You want it to be right in alignment and just get that stretch. And then I'm feeling that stretch in my quad under there on top of the leg. So again, make sure you're relaxed, don't be uncomfortable while you're doing it. And then hold that stretch for about 30 seconds. You can relax it just a little bit in between stretches and then come back into that stretch. So you wanna do that a total of three times, holding it for 30 seconds each. Then roll back over onto your back. You wouldn't switch sides, but I'm just gonna switch sides so you, you can see it a little bit better. And now you're on your back and you're gonna stretch out your hamstrings. So I like to keep the other one propped up. You don't have to, you can bring it down if you want to, but I feel like this just takes a little bit of pressure off of your back. The loop is gonna be around your foot and the goal is you're, you're still, you're using the strap to pull up your leg, you're not actively lifting up your leg. Try and keep your knee straight. If your knee starts bending, you're not gonna get that full hamstring stretch. So just start pulling it up. Again, you want that knee to say as straight as it can. And if you get to here and that knee starts bending, then, then bring it back down because the goal to get that hamstring stretch, because the hamstrings cross that knee joint, the knee has to be straight and locked out. So again, you're not actively lifting the leg like this. You're pulling it up with the strap so you can get that nice passive stretch in there. And again, this is gonna be a 30 second hold, getting that nice stretch in there, bring it back down, and then come back up for that stretch. And so I'm gonna take a second to get my smile for my thumbnail. So if you'd like to take a picture now, you can too. There you go. And again, 30 seconds, three times. So then after you get it stretched out, you wanna do some very simple, gentle strengthening exercises. So you can kind of sit up like this if you want to. You can sit up like this if you want to. But what you wanna do is just put maybe a little rolled up towel. This is just a cut up pool noodle. Something just to give your knee a target. All you're gonna do is just try and push that knee down into the roll. So you're trying to activate that quad muscle. So that's what is called a quad set. So I'm pushing down. I'm not lifting up my heel, so it's not like this. That would technically be what we would call a short arc quad. You're keeping the heel down and you're pushing in to get this muscle to activate. It's an isometric exercise. You're activating the muscle, but there's not really a movement. So when you do that, squeeze down, Hold it for about three to five seconds. It doesn't have to be a super long time. You can start off with just maybe five or 10 and do that a couple times a day. And then you can slowly start building it up. But even though it doesn't feel like a big movement, if you have knee pain and you haven't really been doing stretches and exercises, it might make you a little bit sore. So that's why I'd rather you do less and progress if you're gonna do it than going out and doing a whole lot and then making yourself really sore. So then the next one is still an isometric type exercise, and this one is called a hamstring set. 
So now you're just going to bring your leg up. And again, if you want to lie down doing these, you can. It's just easier for me to talk to you while I'm sitting up. So just make sure you're comfortable doing them. This time what I'm doing is I'm taking my heel and pushing it down into the floor or the bed or the couch that I'm on. So I'm going to lift it up so you can see this is the motion that I'm doing. But since it's an isometric exercise, I'm not moving anything, any part of my leg. I'm pushing down into the floor and I'm activating those hamstrings. So you should feel that under there. With isometric exercises, don't feel like you have to push 100% as hard as you can because they might feel like they're trying to cramp up a little bit. Again, if you have knee pain, and those hamstrings cross that joint. Those quads come to that patella there and cross that joint. So it might make it a little bit sore. So maybe just start off with 30 to 40% of how much you can push. Hold it for three to five seconds, relax, do five to 10, a couple times a day. If it's feeling good, then you can slowly progress from there. So then the next set of muscles are gonna be those inner thigh muscles or the adductors, adductors. And so an easy way to do that with an isometric motion again, because if you have knee pain, you wanna start off with gentle things where you're not making big movements that are gonna just irritate your knee more. I've just got a ball. You can use a yoga block. Um, you can use anything kind of squishy, like if you've got a foam roller, you can put that in between. Um, or you can just kind of fold up a pillow if you don't really have any equipment with you. But the goal is to make sure that it's not too much wider than your hips and not really small. So you wouldn't want to use something like a tennis ball. You want to give yourself the ability to do some push. So again, I'm sitting up for this. It might be a little bit more comfortable if you lie down. So whichever one is more comfortable for you. But this time you're just pushing into the ball. So I'm squeezing in and I'm feeling it, kind of in that groin, those adductor muscles, some of those adductor muscles, Again, go all the way down to the knee and cross that knee joint. So three to five second hold, five to 10, a couple times a day. And then the last one is just taking that strap again or a, a dog belt, um, a dog belt, a dog leash or a belt and just make a loop big enough to be able to go around your legs. Same thing. You want the distance to be about hip width apart. This one is not quite as important as the ball. It can be a little bit um, more narrow and a little bit further out and just kind of changing the positions. But again, if you want to lie down and relax, you can. And this time I'm pushing out. So both knees are going outwards, almost like I'm trying to open up into a clamshell position. Pushing into that belt. Now I'm getting those abductors, A, B, the ones on the outside, those ones that push out your glutes, your IT band, your TFL, those kind of muscles, you're activating those. And then that, again, just that three to five seconds, not starting off as hard as you can at the beginning because you might irritate some stuff, but slowly building up to it. Oh, I know. So there you have it. Those were some of my favorite knee pain stretches and exercises. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.